Hello everyone. Today's devotional reading will be from the Gospel of John, chapter 14, verses, 7, verses 27 through 31, where it is written, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. You've heard me say to you, I'm going away and coming back to you. If you loved me, you would rejoice because I said, I'm going to the Father, for my Father is greater than I. Now I have told you before it comes, that when it comes to pass, you may believe. I no longer talk much with you, for the ruler of this world is coming, and he has nothing in me. But the world may know that I love the Father, and the Father gave me commandments. So I do. Arise, let us go from here. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. So, the disciples are waiting. Christianity is a faith of waiting. We know Jesus Christ has come. We know he's coming again to make all things right. When? We don't know. You know, and that's not uncommon. You know, a woman can get pregnant. And she knows it'll be about nine months. But what's the exact date? Does it know? Uh, someone can plant a seed for a, a, a plant or a flower and knows a general amount of time how long it will be. But when will the thing bloom? Don't know. If someone going to seminary or going to be a doctor, they know it's going to take a long time, but how much? They don't know. So it is with following Jesus Christ. We know one day he'll return. Death will be gone. He'll forgive us our sins. All things, well, he has forgiven us our sins. He'll make all things right. No more suffering, no more pain. He'll wipe every tear from our eyes. But when? We don't know. It'll take as long as it takes. That's what we're left with. At some points, this is frustrating because, come on, this world is sick and twisted and fill in the blank. We want it to uh, be over right now. We want the Lord to come. But we're left waiting. No, have no doubts. He's going to uh, arrive eventually and all these things will be over. But we don't know when. So instead of going, uh, almost like teasing you, going in and in and in, it's coming, or is it? Yes, it's going to happen. Take peace, take comfort, knowing that, yes, God loves you. Yes, God forgives you. At the heart of the faith, the most basic element of all truths is that we have a loving God that forgives sinners, that grants forgiveness and eternal life. And he's coming for you. And eventually this will be for all people. The end is not a scary thing. It's a joyous time when the Lord will make all things right. It's coming and, and it is inevitable. And we don't know when. And that's the faith. We don't know, but we are hopeful knowing that when he comes, it will totally be worth it. And I don't really have much more besides that, you know. God's coming, but we don't know when, but we're totally worth it. And that, as they say, is that. Let us close with prayer. Lord, you're coming. Lord, please come soon. Forgive us our sins. Save us from... I Save us from not being penitent and being egotistical, but God forgive us and bring us to you always. Amen.